Good morning, everybody. This is Karen. Somebody in my silhouette group was asking how you can drag a pattern into your patterns in Silhouette Studio. So I'm going to show you how you do that in version 3. I don't have versions 2 installed anymore, but I'm told it works the same way. So it's really very simple. All you do is you display your library and then you go to your patterns folder. You're going to see that I have a ton of patterns installed. I'm going to be uh, sharing my cardstock backgrounds. They're all basil cardstocks, so you can see that you've got all of these, for example, all these colors. I uh, just brought that in just a second. I'll make this bigger so you can see it better. So you can see that the texture of the paper is in there. And I've got all of those as patterns in my library. So I'm going to share those files in my Cutting Edge Designs group. I will also be sharing, I have got, just a second, I've got glitter backgrounds that you can use, um, and this chalkboard background that I added lately. So back to this, I'm going to show you, here's the chalkboard background. And this is how it opens up. This is what was there before and it just brought that in to that larger frame that I had created. So I'm going to go back to my patterns and to drag a pattern, uh, let's see, what am I going to bring? I've got all kinds of stuff here. Um, this is just something I brought from the internet so I'm going to make sure that I can see my file folders. I've got my patterns displayed here and all I do is I take the image and I drag it into my library and here it is now. Uh, I can then create a new folder in my patterns. I'm going to call this miscellaneous and I'll go back to my main patterns and I'm going to drag this one into miscellaneous and now it's there. And I can use that anytime now. Just click on it and make it larger if I wanted. I guess it doesn't want to be larger. Just a second. <laughs> I don't know why. Oh, there. Okay. I guess I just released it too soon. And that's all there is to dragging images to your patterns library. Hope this is helpful to you. And be sure to check out my Cutting Edge Designs Facebook group because that's where I will be sharing all of these patterns. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel.